comparison slash relation of NEC and PEC. So before that, let's know what is NEC and PEC. National Electrical Code. The National Electrical Code, NEC or NFPA 70, is a regionally adaptable standard for the safe installation of electrical equipment and wiring and establishes the basis for electrical safety in industrial, commercial, and residential buildings in the United States. It has been approved as a National United States Standard by the American National Standard Institute and is formally identified as ANSI or NFPA 70. The first documented case of a code as a requirement of rules was published on November 16, 1881, entitled The Dangers of Electric Lightning. The first NEC was developed in 1897 with new revisions released once every three years to reflect the evolution of products, materials, and installation techniques. It is constantly reviewed and updated with input from active electrical professionals to incorporate constant changes in safety and technology. In revising and updating of NEC, there are 21 separate committee, each consisting of 15 to 20 persons. Members of each committee meet several times, discuss proposed changes, accept some and rejecting others, and rewrite, as required, the section of the code that were designed to their committee. The National Fire Protection Association has conducted administration over the National Electrical Code since 1911. The code is currently an aspect to the NFPA's National Fire Code series as an important proponent for self-regulation and safety. There are a total of 54 editions of the code, and while the 2017 NEC edition is the most current, a new 2020 edition is upcoming. What's included in the NEC? It is comprised of an introduction and nine chapters, as well as annexes and an index. Its introduction establishes the general purpose, information, and scope of the code. So the following are its chapters. Chapter 1. General. This covers the general definitions and rules for electrical installation, like markings, connections, voltages, etc. Chapter 2. Wiring and Protection There are many ways to cover and protect wires, such as using industrial cable protectors and wire coverings that prevents damage from heat, moisture, and dust. Chapter 3. Wiring Methods and Materials This includes cables, conductors, wiring devices, and others. Chapter 4. Equipment for General Use General Purpose Electrical Equipment includes heaters, switches, receptacles, and cords. Chapter 5. Special Occupancies These buildings concern unique environments that pose a high risk to multiple people. Examples include temporary installations, boatyards, marinas, mobile homes, and agricultural buildings. Chapter 6. Special equipment. Electrical equipment that falls under the category includes signs, machinery, transformers, distribution boards, switchboards, and circuit breakers. Chapter 7. Special conditions. Special conditions involve the installation and use of alarms, emergency systems, security systems, card access control systems, and closed circuit TV. Chapter 8. Communication systems. These chapters covers additional requirement for these systems, which include radio, TV, and telephones or cell phones. Chapter 9. Tables and Annexes These tables regard conduit, conductor, and cable properties, among other things. The annexes relate to reference standards, examples, and calculations. They also showcase the correct implementation of certain code articles and offer a model adoption ordinance. Although, the National Electrical Code is developed and intended for application in the United States. It is used as a standard around the world. And just like any other country, the Philippines also applied this, creating the Philippine Electrical Code. The Philippine Electrical Code is a modified version of the National Electrical Code of the United States. The modifications were made to suit the local Philippine environment and conversion into the SI system. This section of the Philippine Electrical Code makes it clear that the Philippine Electrical Code is compatible with international safety standards and address the fact installations meeting the requirements of the Philippine Electrical Code 
are also in compliance with the fundamental principles outlined in NEC. PEC primary objective is to establish basic materials quality and electrical work standards for the safe use of electricity for light, heat, power, communications, signaling, and for other purposes. This code is intended as a design specification or an instruction manual for qualified persons. Electrical designs must comply with the requirements of code to ensure safety. And just like NEC, PEC is regularly revised every three years to reflect the evolution of products, materials, and installation techniques. The Philippine Electrical Code Part 1 2009 edition was based on the NEC 2005. The Philippine Electrical Code Part 1 2017 edition is based on 2017 National Electrical Code NFPA 70. What's included in the PEC? The PEC is comprised of an introduction and 10 chapters as well as annexes and an index. The chapters are the following. Chapter 1, General. Chapter 2, Wiring and Protection. Chapter 3, Wiring Methods and Materials. Chapter 4, Equipment for General Use. Chapter 5, Special Occupancies. Chapter 6, Special Equipment. Chapter 7, Special Conditions. Chapter 8, Communication Systems. Chapter 9, Watercrafts. Chapter 10, Tables. Philippine Electrical Code is based from the National Electrical Code. So basically, they are very alike. And to further understand its similarities and differences, we will compare the 2017 edition of the National Electrical Code and Philippine Electrical Code. First off is the content. NEC has 9 chapters while PEC has 10 chapters. Obviously, the titles are the same. However, PEC had an added chapter which is Chapter 9, Watercrafts. Chapter 1, General. NEC is from Article 100 to Article 110. PEC is from Article 1.0 to Article 1.3. So obviously, they have the same definitions and requirements for electrical installation. However, PEC has its introduction, permits and inspection certificates, and electrical plans and specification, which is not found in NEC. Chapter 2, Wiring and Protection NEC is from Article 200 to Article 285. On the other hand, PEC is from Article 2.0 to Article 2.9. In NEC, Article 280 is titled Surge Arresters Over 1000 Volts, while PEC Article 2.80 is titled Surge Arresters. Article 285 of NEC is titled Search Protective Devices 1000 Volts or Less, while Article 2.85 of PEC is entitled Transient Voltage Surge Suppressors. Also, the Article 2.90 of PEC entitled Protection Against Lightning is not found in the NEC Code of 2017. Aside from the articles mentioned, the following articles are the same for both NEC and PEC. The obvious difference between the two code is the number of the article. Article 200 is equal to Article 2.0. Article 210 is equal to Article 2.1 and so forth. Chapter 2 for NEC and PEC include Use and Identification of Grounded Conductors, Branch Circuit, Feeders, Branch Circuit, feeder and service load calculations, outside branch circuits and feeders, services, overcurrent protection, grounding, and bonding. Chapter 3, Wiring Methods and Materials. NEC is from Article 300 to Article 399, while PSC is from Article 3.0 to Article 3.99. The difference between the two code is that Article 300 of NEC is entitled general requirements for wiring methods and materials while PEC article 3.0 is only entitled wiring methods. Another difference is that article 352 of NEC is entitled rigid polyvinyl chloride conduit type PVC while article 3.52 of PEC is entitled rigid nonmetallic conduit type RNC. Just like in chapter 2, 
The following are the same for NEC and PEC Chapter 3. Conductors for general wiring, cabinets, cutout boxes, and meter socket enclosures. Outlet, device, pool, and junction box, conduit bodies, fittings, and handhold enclosures. Armored cable, type AC. Flat cable assemblies, type FC. Flat conductor cable, type FCC. Integrated gas spacer cable, type IGS. Medium voltage cable, type MV. Metal clad cable, type MC. Minera insulated metal sheath cable, MI. Non-metallic sheath cable, type NM, NMC, and NMS. Power and control trade cable, type TC. Service entrance cable, type SE and USE. Underground feeder and branch circuit cable, type UF. Intermediate metal conduit, type IMC. Rigid metal conduit, type RMC. Flexible metal conduit, type FMC. Liquid type flexible metal conduit, type LFMC. High density polyethylene conduit, type HDPE conduit. Non-metallic underground conduit with conductors, type NUCC, reinforced thermosetting resin conduit, type RTRC, liquid type flexible non-metallic conduit, type LFNC, electric metallic tubing, type EMT, flexible metallic tubing, type FMT, electrical non-metallic tubing, type ENT, auxiliary gutters, busways, cable bus, Cellular concrete floor raceways, cellular metal floor raceways, metal wireways, non-metallic wireways, multi-outlet assembly, non-metallic extensions, strut type channel raceway, surface metal raceways, surface non-metallic raceways, underfloor raceways, cable trays, low voltage suspended selling power distribution systems, concealed knob and tube wiring, Messenger supported wiring, open wiring on insulators, outdoor overhead conductors over 1000 volts. Chapter 4 Equipment for General Use NEC is from Article 400 to Article 490, while PEC is from Article 4.0 to Article 4.9. The difference between the two codes is that Article 408 of NEC is entitled switchboards, switchgear, and panel boards, while Article 4.8 of PEC is entitled switchboards and panel boards. Also, Article 411 of NEC is entitled low voltage lightning, while Article 4.11 of PEC is entitled lightning systems operating at 30 volts or less. Also, Article 425 of NEC entitled Fixed Resistance and Electrode Industrial Process Heating Equipment and Article 426 entitled Fixed Outdoor Electric Dicing and Snow Melting Equipment is not found in PEC. The following articles are found both in NEC and PEC Chapter 4. Flexible Cords and Flexible Cables, Fixture Wires, Switches, Receptacles, cord connectors and attachment plugs, industrial control panels, luminaires, lamp holders and lamps, appliances, fixed electric space heating equipment, fixed electric heating equipment for pipelines and vessels, motors, motor circuits and controllers, air conditioning and refrigerating equipment, generators, transformers and transformer bolts, phase converters, capacitors, resistors and reactors, storage batteries, equipment over 1,000 volts nominal. Chapter 5, Special Occupancies. NEC is from Article 500 to Article 590, while PEC is from Article 5.0 to Article 5.19. The difference between the two codes is that Article 516 of NEC is entitled Spray Application, Deeping, Coating, and printing processes using flammable or combustible materials, while Article 5.16 of PEC is entitled Spray Application, Deeping, and Coating Processes. Also, Article 555 of NEC entitled Marinas, Boatyards, 
and commercial and non-commercial docking facilities. While PSC Article 5.55 is only entitled marinas and boatyards. Also, Article 522 of NEC entitled Control Systems for Permanent Amusement Attractions is not included in the PEC 2017. The following titles is the same and can be found in both Chapter 5 of NEC and PEC. Hazardous Locations Class 1, 2, and 3 Division 1 and 2 Class 1 Locations Class 2 Locations Class 3 Locations Intrinsically Safe Systems Zone 0, 1, and 2 Locations Zone 20, 21, and 22 Locations for Combustible Dust or Ignitable Fibers Slash Flyings Hazardous Locations Dash Specific Commercial Garages Repair and Storage Aircraft Hangars Motor fuel dispensing facilities, bulk storage plants, healthcare facilities, assembly occupancies, theaters, audience areas of motion picture and television studios, performance areas, and similar locations, carnivals, circuses, fairs, and similar events, motion picture and television studios and similar locations, motion pictures, projection rooms, manufactured buildings, agricultural buildings, mobile homes, manufactured homes, and mobile home parks, recreational vehicles, and recreational vehicle parks, temporary installations. Chapter 6, Special Equipment NEC is from Article 600 to Article 695, while PEC is from Article 6.0 to Article 6.95. The following titles are the same for both codes However, they have different article number. Electric signs and outline lightning, manufactured wiring systems, office furnishings, cranes and hoists, elevators, dump waiters, escalators, moving walks, platform lifts, and stairway chair lifts, electric vehicle charging system, electrified truck parking spaces, electric holders, audio signal processing, amplification and reproduction equipment, information technology equipment, modular data centers, sensitive electronic equipment, pipe organs, x-ray equipment, induction and dielectric heating equipment, electrolytic cells, electroplating, industrial machinery, electrically driven or controlled irrigation machines, swimming pools, fountains and similar installations, natural and artificially made bodies of water, Integrated electrical systems, solar photovoltaic systems, large-scale photovoltaic electric power production facility, fuel cell systems, wind electric systems, and fire pumps. Chapter 7, Special Conditions NEC is from Article 700 to Article 770, while PEC is from Article 7.0 to Article 7.70. Just like the previous chapter, the following titles are both the same and can be found in NEC and PEC Chapter 7. It includes Emergency Systems, Legally Required Standby Systems, Optional Standby Systems, Interconnected Electric Power Production Sources, Energy Storage Systems, Critical Operation Power Systems, Stand Alone Systems, the Recurrent Microgrids, Circuits and equipment operating at less than 50 volts, Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3 remote control, signaling, and power limited circuits, instrumentation trade cable, type ITC, fire resistive cable systems, energy management systems, fire alarm systems, and lastly, optical fiber cables. Chapter 8 Communication Systems NEC is from Article 800 to Article 840, while PEC is from Article 8.0 to Article 8.4. The same with Chapter 7, the following titles are both the same and can be found in NEC and PEC Chapter 8. It includes communication circuits, radio and television equipment, community antenna television and radio distribution systems, 
Network Powered Broadband Communication Systems Premises Powered Broadband Communication Systems Chapter 9 National Electrical Code Chapter 9 is about tables, while Philippine Electrical Code Chapter 9 is about watercrafts. NEC Chapter 9 tables includes Percent of cross-section of conduit and tubing for conductors and cable, Radius of conduit and tubing bends, Dimension and percent area of conduit and tubing, Dimension of insulated conductors and fixture wires, Compact copper and aluminum building wire, Nominal dimension and areas, Conductor properties, Alternating current resistance and reactance for 600 volt cables, 3 phase 6 hertz 75 Celsius 3 single conductor, while Philippine Electrical Code Chapter 9 watercrafts include general condition and requirements, special requirements for certain location and system, and etc. Philippine Electrical Code Chapter 10 Tables Obviously, PEC Chapter 10 is the same with NEC Chapter 9. It may have different table numbers from NEC, however, the following titles slash content of the table is the same with NEC Chapter 9 tables. Overall, the National Electrical Code is a standard used in the United States for the safe installation of electrical equipment and wiring. It is the basis of the Philippine Electrical Code that is being modified to suit this local Philippine environment. The content and titles of NEC and PEC is very the same, however, major difference between the two code is that Philippine Electrical Code Chapter 9 entitled Watercraft is not in National Electrical Code 2017.